Hi, my name is Erin Montagudo. I'm the Technical Content and Training Specialist with Viserys. In this video, I'm going to talk about repellent and non-repellent insecticides. So a common question is how to tell which products are non-repellent. And before answering this question, let's answer what is repellency. Many people think of mosquito repellents and how mosquitoes are repelled by a chemical in the air and move away from it. This is called spatial repellency and is not what happens with repellent insecticides. What happens with repellent insecticides is actually called excital repellency or contact irritancy where the insect has to actually touch the chemical in order to be repelled away from it. Repellent insecticides are mostly pyrethrins and pyrethroids. An easier way to tell repellent insecticides is whether or not they provide knockdown. So repellent insecticides provide knockdown and non-repellents do not. Non-repellents are kind of like baits where they take effect within two to three days. When is it best to choose a repellent insecticide? Well, first, if you need knockdown. Second, if you want to create a barrier that insects won't cross, such as around windows, across door thresholds, or openings into buildings, maybe where utilities enter the building. When is it best to choose a non-repellent insecticide? These work great for social insects like termites and ants, or pests that tend to aggregate like German cockroaches and bed bugs. In these situations, non-repellent insecticides do some of the work for you by being spread to other members of the colony or group. They also don't make pests vacate harborages. So if you come back to inspect the known harborage and the pests are no longer there, it's a pretty good sign that that product did its job and killed those pests as opposed to moving them to another location. Repellent and non-repellent insecticides each have their place. One is not better than the other in all situations. Once you understand what excital repellency is and how it can work for or against you, it really just depends on what pest you're treating and what you need from the product at that moment. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us at pestweb.com or call your local sales rep.